Okay, it's time to talk about this one. It's been out there for a while. I was hoping and holding back on talking about it because I figured maybe something's going to be stated by Marvel Studios and Disney. Maybe something else will happen, but not much has happened. So let's talk about the long-awaited topic you guys have wanted me to tackle. Marvel Studios blacklisting and underpaying visual effects artists who literally make their vision come true. So the original article here comes from Vulture, who talks about the huge output of projects that Marvel Studios had in 2022. On top of this, just how many productions they have over the course of the next couple of years, and how there is no slowdown in sight. On top of this, every other studio out there is also using these same production houses, because again, if you want the best of the best, that's what you're paying for. Except things take a rather interesting and unfortunate turn when you're Disney and Marvel Studios. You are top dog. You command the industry. That's how it goes, right? We can all agree on this. So Vulture was able to get in touch with a Georgia-based visual effects worker who works on a team that does a lot of stuff for Marvel. And they reveal that you are given specific instructions, deadlines, and you have to do them. And if you back out of a project or aren't meeting the deadline, they blacklist you and they will not work with you again. On top of this, continued reports have come out and it's once again stated that Marvel and Disney are underpaying others while they're also being overworked and having to meet these deadlines. And again, if there's any complaints, you're blacklisted. So it's either do the work and be happy with what you're paid or don't work for us anymore and you're losing a major share of the market and we're not gonna work with you again, so your production house might as well shut down. They also revealed that a lot of this centers on Victoria Alonso, the VP of Marvel Studios, and he says that if you are on her good side, good thing, because you're guaranteed work. But if you've done something to make her mad, piss her off, they're going to freeze you out and you get the boot and the rest of the industry knows what happened and you suddenly get into the bad spotlight with the entire company. And essentially what else is revealed is that they ask for deadlines, unreasonable demands, and you're not getting a boost. And if you literally cannot meet the deadline, it doesn't matter if you're overworked and whatever, you're shut out. So um, try to get it done no matter what. Now, after this, there was an update, which is exactly why I waited just to talk a little bit about it. It's not a giant update like I was hoping for more, but a European-based visual effects house came in and said they've under-delivered in some regards. They've also had to back off of specific things because they couldn't do it. But they're working on two upcoming projects, but it's very much still a thing where they will blacklist you or they will not work with you again in a specific way or a specific project. So it's still very much kind of lining up with what we just talked about with the other report. Now, I do want to play a little bit of devil's advocate here because a part of this and a part of what's not being fully reported is that if your production house suffers a leak you guys remember the spider-man leak of some guy trying to get clout that entire visual effects house is going to get punished because their security was not tight and they didn't have a watch of what was happening so that i understand that's not reported here i just wanted to make that clear they will be blacklisted for a specific reason because they ruined a major part of a movie for everybody so again just want to explain that now getting back to what the European production house said, which wanted to remain anonymous. They said that if you tell them you can only do this, that they will then agree, okay, do this. But if you overpromise and underdeliver, and you're also asking for less money while overpromising, then you're infinitely blacklisted. So again, there's two sides of this story, but I'm still going to take the side of, yeah, they're overworking people and they're underpaying people. We know this because this has been a problem in the industry over and over. It's like game development. It's like anything. They're always trying to cut costs 
and pay people less for hard work. And it's just going to keep on happening. And it's unfortunate, but you really got to think about what they're doing here. And if people don't stand up for it, they'll keep being overworked. If they speak up, they'll just find somebody else, underpay them, and move on. So it's just one of these things where unless something happens with unions or something like that, it's going to keep happening. But the moment a union happens, they'll be shut out anyway. So that's the industry, and that's Hollywood. Uh, that's Hollywood being Hollywood. Welcome to Showbiz.